Hey guys, welcome back to Battle Cats. Today, I am going to be cheating. Now, I don't actually consider this cheating, but I know some people would disagree with me, and that's fine. Today, we're gonna do something called seed tracking. So basically, the gotcha system in Battle Cats is not actually random. It uses something called a seed to generate your rolls, and there's a program on the internet that will take your last 10 rolls, work backwards to find your seed, and then from there you can see what all of your future rolls are gonna be. So you can see how some people might consider this cheating because it does allow you to go around the gotcha system, but I've put thousands of dollars into this game. It's a single player game. I don't think I'm hurting anyone. Also, one more thing, because I know some of you will be concerned about this. I know I've had some legal issues with Ponos in the past, but I'm pretty sure they can't sue me for predicting the future. All right, so we're gonna start off by rolling once in the Red Busters event. And if I'm correct, we should get Solon Cat. And just to show you that I'm not lying about this with some sort of fancy editing tricks, here's my mouse, okay? See that? There. This is all real time. So here it goes. Roll number one for Solon Cat. Come on, Solon Cat! Solon Cat! Oh my god, this is crazy! Okay, so we got a Solon Cat. Next up, we're gonna get ourselves a Jurassic Cat. Okay. Wow, it's a Jurassic cat, this is wild. So I don't wanna to get too complicated, but I would like to quickly explain something. The seed has two tracks, and sometimes you'll switch from one track to the other or back again. And the problem is, the legend rare is right after a track switch. So the only way I can get it is if I force the track to switch. So what I'm gonna do now is roll three more times and then I'll be perfectly positioned to do the step up event, which is a 15 roll with a guarantee. That will put me on the right track directly in front of the legend rare. Then all I have to do is just go to miracle selection and roll one more time. Okay, so we got Salon, we got Jurassic Cat. The next one will be Witch Cat. Yep. Okay, there's our witch cat. And then the one after that is gonna be bath cat. Okay, there's our bath cat. Now I was gonna stop here and do the 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 step up. If I do the step up now, I will get Heavy Jack the Wicked. But if I wait one more, I'll get Ice Cat. Both of these scenarios will allow me to get the legend after, but I kinda want to get Ice Cat. She has a true form and she sounds kinda good. Good-ish, I suppose. It seems to be better than Heavy Jack. I'm really worried I'm gonna somehow overshoot this, but we just have to roll the Murkat and then we're good. So this should be a Murkat. Okay, woo! Now, I just gotta spend my cat food on this step up. So the first one is a three capsule drop for 300. Let's go. And we're gonna get Fencer Pogo Thief. Fencer Pogo Thief. Good, 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 good. Now we're gonna do another one. Go. So this one will be Psycho Matador Jurassic Viking Fortune. Psycho Matador Jurassic Viking Fortune. Well, so far, I have not been led astray. Here is our guarantee. This is the one. I don't even believe it. I don't believe this is actually gonna work, but so far, so good. All right, uh, where are we? Washu, Archer, Jurassic Viking. And then we're gonna swap over to the other track. Archer, Jurassic, Viking. There would be another Viking after this one, but apparently if there's two in a row, it switches to the other track. So instead, we're gonna end up with Swordsman Cat. And now, we get a Fencer. Then I think we're getting our Uber. Yep, there it is. Okay, so far so good, guys. It's all going swimmingly. Am I right? There's Ice Cat. Uh, isn't this like the same cat as Lilith or Lilin or something? Hello. What's up? You gotta say hi. Hey guys, how about you smash the like button on this video, huh? I'll pet my cat if you do. And I'll pet my cat if you don't. Yeah, that's right, I'm giving you time. I'm giving you time to do it. We both are. We're, we're both patiently waiting. Don't, don't let the cat down, guys. Ella would be so disappointed in you. Okay, so Lilith is a different version of Ice Cat. It says here, snow is in short supply before November, so Ice Cat changed to a more mischievous and spooky look. So this is the Halloween version of Ice Cat. Got it. A cat that was entranced by a girl hailing from the land of ice. It is frozen. 
might freeze red enemies. Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone. I'm not gonna give you any XP or nothing, even though I have a whole bunch of XP. I have a job to do, okay? I just have to do this one roll, guys, okay? Sit back and hope that I do not end up disappointed. Oh! Oh, that's right. <laughs> Sorry, we have to roll one more time. Okay, Bishop Cat is the one before the Legend Rare. That was, oh, that was sketchy. Do it again. Ah, this is the one. This is the one. Hey, oh! Boom. We got it. Legend Rare. Wow. And to think, I could have spent hundreds of dollars and not gotten her instead. I don't even know anything about Gaia the Creator. I just thought it would be cool to have another Legend Rare. And just FYI, when the next Nico Luga event comes around, I'm probably gonna do this same thing because after spending like $1,000, it would be kind of nice if I actually got them all. All right, well, let's go ahead and use that. Gaia the Creator. It's a beautiful unit. Wait, what else are you giving me a new icon on? Oh yeah, I did get a new Uber recently that I didn't show you guys. Oh. Shitakiri Sparrow, treasure hunter who discovered a haunted chest in a sparrow's mansion. Mini wave with a chance of knockback slash curse versus Aku and angels. Is it any good? Let me know. All right, guys. Gaia the creator, the origin of all life. And she can choose to undo it all whenever she pleases. Long range area attacks deal extreme damage to traded. Extreme, is this like, Aphrodite, but better? Wait a minute, it says insane damage. Is insane and extreme the same thing? Depends on who you ask, I suppose. Okay, so we've got a long range area attack that does crazy damage to all traded enemies. That sounds like it would come in handy. Kind of sounds like a little bit of a legend carry to me. And what happens if we get her to her second form? Gaia the Supreme. Did you become part cat? or something. The ultimate goddess who directs mana birthed from the world tree to annihilate enemies of good. Extreme damage to trade it. All right, girl. This is great. How about you go all the way to level 30 and what, what the heck is that? Dark Cat's Eye allows uber rare units to grow past level 50. Well, that's new. I didn't know that was a thing. Also, where did I get so many legend cat's eyes anyway, guys? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna boost the heck out of this girl. I don't even care. I can't boost Tyrant Cat. Akuma is already level 45. So is Colossal Benkai. So I feel like maybe the next level 45 is this savage sounding unit. And there you go. Level 45. And now it takes two, right? Yeah. That's where I stop. I don't really wanna spend two. All right, so now we have three legend rares at level 45. That's kind of cool, man. I don't know where I even wanna go now, but I'm gonna go test this thing out for a little while, okay? I just worked hard to get it. Actually, let's do the top five most seen enemies of 2022. I feel like B -B Bunny is gonna be on this one because I feel like I always see the red bunny, but here is number one, uh, well, number five, but I'm gonna maybe put in my new unit. All right, I'm putting Gaia and Aphrodite in my loadout so I can directly compare them. I might not even be able to save up enough money to get them in this one, but they, they're there anyway. Okay, just in case. Oh, it's a red seal. A red seal. Well, I still feel like that bunny is gonna be on the list, guys. Um, we're probably just gonna destroy that base here now, but we can at least look at it, right? Woohoo! That is a big unit. An absolute unit. You can't even see the top of it because the map is so small. Um, you better start firing. You said you got long range. How long is it? I don't need that long. Boop. <laughs> Are you blowing bubbles? Is that what you're doing? You're having a great time. She's having a great time. Where is the bunny? Show me the bunny. There it is. I told you. I told you Bunny was gonna be here. Okay, here is Aphrodite and Gaia. Gaia's so much bigger and cooler, guys. Okay, you're gonna... We can actually wait. We can actually wait and see here, okay? Because it's still it's still happening. So scoot on in here. How much, how much difference is there to the range? It's hard to tell because the unit's so big. Like, what is the front of the unit? Huh. Anyway. Unfortunately, number three. What do you mean, unfortunately, number three? 
kind of unit is an unfortunate unit? Probably a metal hippo. I don't like the metal hippos that much. Nope, doge. Ah, it is a doge, not a metal doge. I can see why that would be unfortunate. I'm not a big fan of that unit either. Okay, there's no point of even trying to look at the units here. Let's just, let's just see. Okay, let's see what we got here. So number two, you want to cry. So, so number two, you want to cry. That's such a weird thing to say. Oh, it's just these guys. I mean, those guys, but you know. Bye. Two XP. Let's go. Wow. That's crazy. Are they going to give me anything for the first one? Or is it just a way to give one leadership and some cat food? Astonishingly number one. I don't know. I don't know who it's going to be. I feel like I see a lot of metal doges, though. That's a black doge. You see a lot of doges in general, you know, but black doge is definitely one of the most common. I mean, it's the most common. It says so. Okay, we did that. Give me my reward. Yeah, that one. Wait a minute, what? Unseen in 2022? What do you mean unseen? Who is it? I didn't think there was going to be another level here. Oh. Amazon dog. Okay. Okay, since there's no, you know, enemy coming out, let's go ahead and compare these two. They hmm, travel at almost the same speed. Guy is actually a little bit faster. All right. I don't know where the hitbox is. I'm really, really concerned about this, you know? Because, yeah, you say you're long range, but long range isn't always that long. I do love the animation, though. It's pretty funny. And I got a rare ticket. Well, that's good. Okay, if I want to know if Gaia has sufficient range for me and my needs, I need her to be able to kill a Slipnir because I hate Slipnir. Okay, so here's a gorilla. Whoa, she, she attacks! That was three attacks? What you doing? Oh, girl, watch it. Watch it! Can you even, can you even hurt a slipe? I don't even know if she can hurt a slipe near guys. I mean, obviously we have Benkai for that. I was just, I was just wondering. Okay, I have a good unit to compare Gaia to guys. Almighty Amaterasu, because I use Amaterasu all the time when I want something that's good against traded enemies. So how is Amaterasu's range and how does that compare to Gaia? What? So Amaterasu has 455 attack range. And Gaia has 400 attack range. Oh, but the effective range is 350 to 550. I guess that's what makes it long distance. Okay. Okay, Gaia the Supreme at level 30 has a DPS of 4743. Amaterasu at level 30 has a DPS of 3523. So it is stronger than Amaterasu. Range is actually sort of shorter, but there's like a a range to where it actually hits. Not only that, guys, but massive damage is four times damage, and insane damage is six times damage, meaning it's actually a lot stronger than Amaterasu. Okay, there's one thing that I missed, guys, that I had to take into consideration here. I do have a max attack buff for an extra 20% attack power on Amaterasu. Even with that, though, Gaia is still stronger. But if I was, uh... You know, in a situation where I needed a barrier breaker or I needed to kill zombies, I would still need to use Amaterasu. So she won't be going anywhere, but I might be able to swap her out a lot for Gaia. So that's pretty cool. Okay, well, I'm going to do Merciless XP so I can see her do some damage. This is what I normally use for it, but we'll swap out, mm, swap out this guy. And then we can put in our brand new legend rare, Gaia the Supreme. The thing is, I sometimes fail this particular level because there are a lot of baddies, okay? And if you don't if you don't make sure you're handling them, they very quickly overrun you. I'm gonna go ahead and give rid of some of those, level up, and take the rest of the money and put it towards my legend rare. Oh my God. Uh, the, the level's not big enough to zoom in any further, guys. So we're, we can't see, we can't see the whole thing. We might just have to find a level where we can see the whole thing. Anyway, let's see how... Ga oh, Gaia! Be, be, be careful! What are you doing? Pew, 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 right? Okay, Gaia died. See, this is the problem with this freaking level. Sometimes you just, like I said, get overrun. I would definitely not beat this level if it wasn't for Bomber Cat, guys. Bomber Cat comes in handy a lot. Okay. You think it's really necessary to send out several Razorbacks? You're just trying to stall me, so I send out another Gaia because you like... You liked what you saw, didn't you? I know you did. Now stop hurting me, or I'll hurt you back. 
I just want to see more of that delicious attack, guys. Oh, God, she did. It's cool that she has a multi-hit. But it's not cool <laughs> how fast she died. Anyone would have died there just as fast, though, right? Pretty much. Okay. Well, we we lost a couple of Gaia's there, but that's that's cool. Okay, so one more time. Here's Gaia, and here's Gaia the Supreme. Just look at how big this thing is. You still don't see the top of it, but we come very close to seeing it here. It's just funny how much smaller it gets when you hit the arrow. Anyway, guys, I'm not really, like, completely convinced of the uh, usefulness of this unit yet. I'm not saying the numbers are lying. I don't think they are. I just think I need some more time with her to see how valuable she's going to be. But if you have any opinions, please leave them down below in the comments. And if you have any other units you'd like to see me try and get in the future, let me know that as well. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to check out another one of my videos, do it. Check it out. Go ahead.